Hello and welcome. What does an IT system administrator do? Do you want to become an IT system administrator? And are you trying to figure out if the job of an IT system administrator is really for you? Or what can you expect having to do as work as an IT system administrator? Technology is changing all the time and your responsibilities as an IT system administrator, they will be changing too. So now let's look at that first and define what is IT system administration. At a high level, system administration is a field and information technology technology that is responsible for maintaining reliable computer systems in a multi-user environment. So I know that's quite a mouthful. It sounds complicated, doesn't it? IT system administrators in general are the jack of all trades. And unless they specifically decide to become subject matter experts in one or more technologies, they will stay these jack of all trades master of none. And that's not a bad place to be if you ask me. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Christoph Putz. I'm your IT career guide. And here on this channel, we talk about careers and information technology and anything related to that. So now let's find out what does an IT system administrator do? IT system administrators configure servers, which could mean really anything, all the way from racking a server into a server rack, which is like a cabinet, by the way, for computer servers and related devices like switches, routers, or storage devices, whatever it is. So the system administrator could be tasked with racking the physical devices into this cabinet. From racking and connecting the physical server to the network, the next step could really be to install an operating system onto the server. It could be Windows, it could be Linux, whatever. Now that the server comes online with the operating system and is ready to do some work, the next step would be to install an application. So let's say like a database application or a web server application. The formerly dummy hardware, which the server is when it arrives, has now turned into a sophisticated piece of technology and it provides services to internal and external users. The server hardware now needs to be maintained and managed. So it's not just you plug it in, you power it on and everything will be uh, nice and dandy. So there will be issues that it requires some maintenance. So a system administrator monitors the server hardware for health and does regular maintenance to keep the system healthy. So that could be that an IT system administrator will install occasional BIOS or firmware updates. And of course, he or she would address any type of hardware failures should they occur. So this could be a simple task, just like reseeding a hard drive, which is like pulling the hard drive and putting it back in. And you laugh, but sometimes this just fixes a problem of a failed hard drive notification. If it's something more complicated, the IT system administrator would place a service call with the vendor. And if that's really a more complicated issue, the vendor will send out a technician to, let's say, replace an entire motherboard. The system administrator is not really tasked or enabled to do so. Most people really can focus on the base hardware operations and then, of course, the operating system and the applications on top of it. So now we have the hardware covered. The the IT system administrator looks out for the operating system as well. So he or she applies patches and security updates. He or she makes adjustments to the configuration when applicable. And by the way, a system administrator usually does not upgrade the operating system installation. Following best practices, an upgrade of the operating system would actually really mean a full rebuild of the system. And it's so critical that you document the type of work that you do. What configurations and settings are you changing from a default installation? So that's it's just another part of it, but you would never do an in-place OS upgrade on a production system. That's just asking for trouble. So the IT system administrator then also manages applications and services running off the server and again makes sure that the system performs to the expectations. He or she provides recurring maintenance to the application and the services. He or she also keeps an eye open for the unexpected stuff that might be happening after an upgrade or whatever it is. What I described here just now is for basically just a single server. And of course, an IT system administrator is not just responsible for one server. Now multiply this by X and X is the number of B, 20, 40, 50, 100 servers or whatever the number is. The IT system administrator would have to do that work for each server. So a lot of these tasks that I just talked about are fully automated. The system admin really just triggers or starts the automated process and monitors the outcome. He or she would not do the actual work of manually installing a security update as an example. These tasks are automated and that's what the IT system administrator would be monitoring. And then depending on the environment, the system administrator may have to provide 
tier three type of support to let's say a help desk or service desk. Anything that the guys and gals at the lower tier cannot do or should not be doing for security reasons as an example, the IT system administrator would have to take responsibility and take care of these tasks for them and report it back down. So often these tasks are more really security and trust driven. So it's really so that you only have qualified people making changes to a server or to Active Directory or to a database. And usually the employees at a service desk or help desk are not really equipped from a knowledge perspective to make these changes. So that's where the IT system administrator comes in. So there is software that allows you to really patch down the permissions to those tiers one and two, to the service desk, to the help desk. So these guys would then make the change, but the change does not get executed. So these type of management softwares, they take the input, meaning the change gets put into the system, and then it goes to the tier three, to our system administrator. And that system administrator would look at the change and approve it as an example, or pass it on to the right person. So it puts a filter between the task that is actually needed to be done and who can execute the task. But it also allows to really have a good workflow so that it can go into a ticketing system and that all the pieces are working smoothly together. The IT system administrator really is just the gatekeeper in that moment. So an example here to be more specific could be that a user needs to be added to a security group and the tier one service desk technician adds the user to the group in that software. The change goes up to the system administrator and maybe this doesn't happen for all the security groups but maybe in this case that security group group has access to confidential data. So the IT system administrator would have to take a look and make sure that the user that is requesting the access actually has the permission to get in and will get that access. So this really gives you an idea of basic day-to-day -day tasks of what a system administrator does. So there's a lot of routine type of work and more and more gets automated or additional software systems start working together so that it's not even touched by a human being when a certain request is initiated. But keeping systems healthy and making sure that things are working well together, those are some of the main tasks that an IT system administrator does. And often these tasks really that I described go down to the junior level people or the mid-level people that are working as system administrators. The senior level people are working on the more sophisticated, more challenging tasks and uh, maybe work on the projects or where the experience is needed. And again, every shop is different and of course I haven't talked about like cloud systems or anything related to that. System administration is really a large field and I think if you can focus on those basics that I talked about here, if you are trying to become an IT system administrator, getting ready for these basics will put you into a great position when you start applying for jobs and you go into the job interviews and that's really the purpose of this video. How would this type of work fit into your career plan? Is that something that you want to do? Is that something that gets you excited? So if you don't mind leaving a comment down below I would really have that discussion with you and find out okay why are you getting into system administration are these type of tasks something really that motivate you so leave a comment down below I really appreciate it so and with that being said I hope you like this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so as well and then I hope to see you in my next video thank you for watching and have a great day bye bye